Hello, welcome to Young Engineers Virtual Edition. With me, Miss Lisa, I am a youth librarian at the Westerville Public Library, and welcome to the first ever Virtual Young Engineers with me. This is super exciting. So what is Young Engineers? Young Engineers is a monthly program that we've had at the library, the Westerville Library, for the past couple of years that focuses on developing engineering skills in young school-age children. In the past, it's been geared towards ages six to eight. However, in this virtual edition, it has been expanded to kind of age 12, so all kind of school-age children. Uh, the activities will vary in difficulty, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to do. Each month in Young Engineers, we explore topics such as math, building, problem solving, coding, etc. Kind of all sorts of different things to develop a, those thinking skills. So this month, April 2020, Pro Young Engineers is going to focus on problem solving. Uh, there is a variety of activities that you can download, and each activity promotes critical thinking in a different way. Uh, this is helping your brains, the neurons in your brains, connect so that when you have to go solve problems in the future, it's much easier to do. The goal is to finish five of the puzzles. Uh, you can do all ten if you want, but you don't have to. You can also also ask for help, though I would suggest start by yourself first, so that way you can work on developing those brain signals in your head, and then when you get stuck, you can ask for help. I have five tips and tricks to share with you when problem solving. Tip number one is don't rush. It is not a race. Um, it takes how long it takes to finish these puzzles and problem solve. Some things are going to be easier than others. That is the way it is. Uh, you make mistakes, silly mistakes when you rush, so don't do that. Tip number two is read any instructions and look over the whole puzzle or problem before starting. You have to figure out what you actually have to do. Um, this is important because there's nothing more frustrating when you think you finished and you solved the puzzle and you realize you have the wrong answer because you didn't actually understand or read what you were supposed to do. So figure that out before you begin. Tip three is if you get stuck, that is okay. Take a break and come back to it. Oftentimes, when it comes to problem solving and figuring out answers for things, we don't, we can't figure them out right away. We get stuck and frustrated, and we kind of get in this loop of coming up with the same wrong answer and over and over again. So what you need to do is you need to stop what you're doing, stop working on the puzzle, and take a break. Eat a snack, go outside, watch a TV show, pet your cat or dog, whatever you've got going on, and your break can be as short or as long as you need. Then come back to the puzzle and try again. And sometimes you need more than one break. That is okay. That's the way, that's, well, that's what happens in real life. <laughs> Tip four. It's okay to get a wrong answer. Getting it wrong teaches you what doesn't work, and that helps you figure out what does work. Um... When it comes to problem solving, you are going to get the wrong answer way more times than you get the right answer. That's for your whole life. And that's how we figure out how to do things. Um, that's everyone. And again, sometimes things are harder than other things. And that is what it is. So don't get frustrated when you get it wrong. Just like I said, go back to tip three, take a break, and come back to it. Tip five is ask for help. If you get stuck, Ask a parent, a sibling, a friend. You can ask me for help. Sometimes it takes more than one brain, more than one thinking power to solve a problem. And that is okay. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. So what you're actually going to do, uh, in the email that you received for this program, there was a link to the PDFs. There are 10 puzzles and then a little checkoff sheet at the beginning. The goal is to complete five puzzles of your choice. So look through all of them before you begin. Decide which ones you want to do. Of course, you can do them all if you want. That's up to you. Mark off which activities you completed on the first page. Give yourself credit for the things you do. That's important. Um, if you want, you can take a picture of yourself in the completed puzzles or that little checkoff sheet and email it to me. Uh, I can also post them on social media if you want. Just let me know. Uh, 
There is also a, if you like doing these puzzles, there was a link I sent that leads to the library's catalog of different types of puzzle books that you can download via Hoopla or a cloud library or Overdrive. So there's more problem solving things you can do. Good luck. Uh, reach out to me if you've got questions. My email is lkaufman at westerville.library.org. And I look forward to hearing from you. Good luck and happy problem solving.